Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. We had a really busy Mother's Day. This is Ivy's litter and we had three litters born on Mother's Day, so it was crazy around here. Um, Ivy has nine puppies and there are four girls and there's five boys. So this is the first boy and they kind of go this way. Um, so we're gonna go through these, they're not microchipped. And all we're gonna do is give you a quick video. They're gonna get their tails and dew claws done as soon as we finish. And um, I know many of you have been anxious to see what they've produced. Um, I love Ivy Striker puppies, I just love them. And we've got some really cool colors in this litter this time. So uh, nobody's microchip, we're just gonna start, let you see them, give you weights, and then we're gonna put them back with mom. So this is a blue Merle male. He will turn silver. Uh, this grayish blue will turn silver and the spots will stay dark. He has a little tiny spot on his head. He has a big white belly and lots of splash and color. And he has white toes on the back and white toes on the front. So let's see what he weighs today. We'll turn this on and get them all going and get them back to mom. All right, so he is 10 point, well, he's 11 ounces on the button. The next one in here is a black and white party male. Tons and tons of color, lots of color. And he's got, of course, an all white belly and he's got one black spot. That's really unusual to have that happen. Uh, usually they're all white bellies. So he's doing really good and just tons of color on this guy. He's really loudly marked. 10.8 ounces as of today. This is the big guy in the litter. This is the one that was the biggest when they were born. And, all right, so he is loudly spotted, lots of splashing color. Uh, he's got a big white spot on his chest, all the way up his throat, and uh, just doing great. I think he's gonna be the biggest one in here. He is 14 point, you now 13.8 to 14 even. But he's got tons and tons of color, really pretty Merle. All right, so the next one in here is the Blue Merle Party. This one is the Blue Merle. You can see some of the little spots on here. He's got a really pretty face. He's got a domino spot on his head. Uh, those spots will stay. He's also getting a spot here. And I can kind of see one coming through his hair right here. So he's gonna be very, very flashy when he gets full grown. He's also gonna have brown on his eyebrows and brown on the side of his face. Uh, so he's gonna be a try when he's done. He's gonna be very, very pretty. All right, so he is 11.2. All right, guys, you're kind of sacked out here. And I think this is the last little male. Yep, this is the last little male. This is the littlest one, I think, in the litter. He's all black with a tiny dot on his chest. And he's got no white on his toes, but one little teeny dot right on his chest. He's got really nice, pretty black, slick coat. And he is... 7.8 as of today. All right, so there's his big brother and little brother. So this is a female. She is uh, all black with a little bit of white on those back toes, tiny bit of white on those front toes, which won't show when the hair grows in, huge white tuxedo chest, and a big goatee on her chin that'll always stay white. She's nice and fat and she's nice and shiny. Uh, they'll get microchipped. Uh, when they get their tails and dew claws done, 9.4 is her weight. And as soon as they, uh, probably later this week, we'll do individual photos of them. So this is a blue Merle female. She's got huge white chest. She's got a little bit of white on the back toes. We actually put a little bit of iodine on her belly because mom took her uh, navel off shorter than I like to see it, so we iodined her belly. Um, she's got really pretty blue Merle markings. And she's just a really nice baby with a little bit of black on her face. And she is 9.8 ounces as of today. All right, the next one in here looks black, but it's not black. This one has, it says I'm stretching. This one is a beigey brown color with cream mixed in underneath of here. Um, the face has also got the same thing on the top. It's very hard to see. I don't think Vanessa can zoom in far enough, but if she can, you can see the brown right in there underneath that. So this puppy is not gonna stay this color. Uh, does it have a brown nose? I can't tell you. 
it's still too pink to tell. If it has a brown nose, then the brown will stay brown. If it has a black nose, this will probably turn like a buff color or maybe a cream down the road. But right now, until that nose turns color, we can't tell you if it's gonna stay a chocolate or if it's gonna go black. But she's got really flashy markings. Probably when I dock the tail, I'll dock it just past the white so she has a little bit of a white tip on that tail also. I think that would be really cool. But she's got the brown on both sides. All right, let's see what you are. Whoops, 10.8 ounces as of today. The last one over here is a far reach. This is a blue Merle. She says, I am so sleepy. She's got big white chest. She's got an almost all black leg on this front left leg. And she's got beautiful spotting. She's gonna look like her daddy. She'll turn silver with black spots. She's got a little bit of black around her face. And she is 12.2. So I will have individual photos on uh, later on towards the end of the week. Um, or by Monday. I like to give them about a week when there's this many in the litter to make sure mom doesn't lay on somebody. Um, because with mom being the weight she is, 10 minutes of us not seeing the puppy underneath ever and it won't be a viable puppy anymore. So probably next week on Monday we'll put new individual photos on. Uh, we will have microchip numbers on each puppy. On the new website, the video is at the bottom of the page. We will always leave the old video there and just put a new video on top so you can see them both in order. Um, and it will tell you underneath each photo if they're available. If they are sold, they will be at the bottom of the page uh, where the puppies are, and it will have sold written on the photograph. So uh, I hope you enjoy the new website. It is still a work in progress, believe me. And any um, tips you can give us or something you'd like to see done, uh, differently or if you like the photos a certain way um, we have two different sets of photos dreamers photos are one way and glories are another so right now everybody's voting for the way they are on dreamers site so anything you can add that you'd like us to change or do let us know um, and if it's something that we have a few people will speak up and say something about we'll be glad to add something to the website so um, I hope you have a good day and a great week. Puppies are doing great, and we'll keep you up to date, and we'll get you new pictures as soon as they get to be a week old. So we'll talk to you later.